Hello Second Violins, this is your discussion lesson video for Tay DJ. So, on Thursday we worked a bit on the opening rhythm and you guys are really great at playing on the ands, but sometimes you don't observe all of the stuff written in the measure, like in measure six we have a tie, which means that that should be one long note. I should not hear and two anymore, so make sure that you hold that out for its full value without re-articulating on beat two. Um, make sure that in measure eight, you give us a nice downbeat and then go back to playing on the ands just as you have been. But we really need that kind of skip step in the groove to let us know that, you know, uh, music is normally structured in four to eight measure phrases. And this is measure eight of that phrase. So it's kind of, that's the thing that's telling us something is about to change. We're about to go somewhere new. Um, and we do, in measure nine and 10, we get long notes. Instead of having that rhythmic beat going on, it changes. So measure eight is the start of that simply by playing on the downbeat. So make sure you guys are there. Um, everything up until 19 is basically the same as the beginning. So just keep track of where you are. You guys did really well at the uh, first few measures of 19. And then when you get to 23, just be aware that you guys are exactly with the first violin, so you guys are playing the same rhythms and the same notes. And the best way to be successful in the section between 23 and 35, when you guys start getting really all of these busy notes, um, is to plant your fingers on two strings and keep them there for the whole measure. So what I mean is here at 23, You've got three fingers on the G string and you need A on the D string. So don't use open A for this. You have to use your fourth finger A, but you leave them here. So you can go three, four, three, four, three, four, three. In 24, you've got B and G sharp, two high three, two high three, two three, two three. So you always want to keep your fingers down on each string. Don't lift up in between two, three, two, three, two, three. That's gonna get crazy and all of your notes are going to be different, essentially. Uh, when you plant your fingers down and you play C, A, C, A, C, A, C, you know, uh, you're guaranteed to be playing the same notes for the duration of how long those notes last in the pattern. But if you're constantly going between the two fingers, then it's never guaranteed that you're going to hit the same spot twice. And C or A or any pitch is one specific pitch, right? That it can be literally mathematically, scientifically calculated to be so many hertz is what we measure pitch in. Um, so C is a certain number. And if your finger is bopping around and, and kind of jumping around on any side of the third finger tape, then it's not guaranteed that you're ever going to hit the right note. But what is better, and it's hardly guaranteed that you'll ever be exactly perfect anyway, but it's <laughs> you're way more likely to continue hitting the right notes or closer to them by keeping your fingers down because at least every C and A in this pattern will be this C and this A, not this C and then that A and then this C and that A and all over the place. So make sure you're practicing. It's kind of tough and it's tricky to get both strings to sound clearly when you've got fingers spreading over both, but that's, that's a skill that we should really work on and that's going to spell success for this entire passage. Um, Looking forward, just reminding you quickly about measure 28. This one is in half position. So in 27, you guys are in first position with low two on the A string. So you've got your first finger on the D string and your low two over here on the A string. And then you just slide that whole hand frame back to where your second finger is now playing the note B natural and your first finger is on E flat. So first position is first finger on first finger tape, 
half position is when first finger is behind first finger tape. In 29, you reset to first position with open and one on B and measure 30, just like in 23, you need to be using your third finger on the G string and your fourth finger on the D string to play the note A. Um, in 35, you guys see the text bring out. It's kind of tricky because they're asking you to play really long note values, but also bring it out. Um, but just know that this is kind of your little solo section. So you really need to not only play beautifully, but play the right notes and they're constantly changing, right? So you, I recommend using a fourth finger here in the first measure, one, four, and then that gives you the perfect place for high three. If you pop over to the A string, then high three is going to be a bit of a question. But if in measure 35 you play E, A, you know exactly where high three goes because your fourth finger was down. Um, and then 37, that third finger comes back, goes back to its spot on the tape. High two, 39, high two slides down to low two. Um, so just be very careful of the accidentals here and make sure that all of your arrows are pointing the right direction. 49 is another one to watch out for. Uh, measure 49, you have low one on the D string for D sharp. B natural is two on the tape on the G string. Play open D and then low one on the G string for G sharp. That one's a little tricky. Also, we discovered moving forward that you guys, uh, second violins and viola, are the show here at 51. So everybody else has like a quarter note or something and not a big deal, but the, the second violins and the violas are the ones that are, are uh, moving here. You guys have the most interesting part. So uh, really make sure that you are uh, playing all the right notes at 51 and you are confident that you are moving faster <laughs> than the first violins. They're not the ones leading you through this rhythm. You have to lead yourselves. Um, so be careful of notes and rhythm here. Moving forward, um, the code word is broccoli. Let's look at uh, 63. 63 through 66. I have a lot of a lot of colorful ink down here. You guys remember that I color coded my answer key um, according to the high, low, and then just normal fingering notes. And I have a lot of colors here. So this is going to be a spot to pay careful attention to in your practice. We also go to VZ here. Um, so you got to make sure that each one of you are playing your correct notes. Um, in 63, high third finger for G sharp. Um, go ahead and play open and one for the A string notes. And then the upper line player in 64, G sharp on the E string is high two. So you're on the tape. And then third finger is right next to it for A. Lower line player, your first two notes of 64 should be high three on D and fourth finger on D to play the note A. And then you guys are together. Make sure that your second fingers come back down to low two position for beat four, C natural. That one's gonna be kind of tricky, especially when the upper line player was just playing high two and the lower line player was playing high three. Now you both have to get back to low two position on the A string. And uh, 65, the upper line player has high third finger on the A string, D sharp. Lower line player has high two on the D string, F sharp. And remember that those accidentals carry through the measure. So after that rest, you guys are still playing D sharp and F sharp. Your fingers stay exactly where they were. Um, before, 67, the, these eighth notes that are under the retard. This is pretty tricky. You could either start this in half position or in first position, it depends. I might like to do half position. So I have my second finger on low A over here on the G string. 
So my first finger knows where G sharp is and it sounds cleaner to go two, one, then one and slide back to one. You have to reach up to four on the D string for A and then high three on D for G sharp. So two, one, reach, four, three, one, and off you go. Um, you're pretty much set here towards the end. There are a couple of um, gymnastics spots for your second finger. 78, you have a high two on the D string, lower, lower line player. 79, you have A on the G string, normal two on the G string for B natural, three. And then that second finger has to come over to the D string and go low. Okay, so those, those four notes in 79 are gonna be kind of tricky. Um, 81, I don't think you guys have had this particular, uh, sorry, I don't, you guys have not had this pattern yet. So um, low one on the D string to play D sharp, reach over and up for two for the B natural on the G string open D and then low one on the G string for G sharp. So low one, high two, open D, low one on G. Um, all of this will probably make a little bit more sense in the play along video, which is absolutely where you should go next. Thanks for watching.